Hello friends, welcome to Suresh Agarwal's Mathematics Shortcuts. How many tricks of super fast multiplication do you know? I hope you are watching all the tricks which I have been posting very recently and that will surely help you and enable you to calculate and multiply numbers 10 times faster. So many of the students, you know, they ask me, sir, you are telling like 300, 400 tricks. How do we remember all these tri tricks? You know, the simple logic is you don't have to remember anything in maths. If you start putting something in behavior or applying those tricks, only then you remember those tricks. You don't have to sit one fine day and learn 300, 400 tricks. Nobody can do that. Even I can't do that. But if you use them consistently, you will start applying them consistently. You learn them. So that's the simple logic. Practice, practice and practice. That is the 3P formula for learning and understanding mathematics. So friends, in this video also, I have some special, special tricks through which I can multiply big numbers like three digit, four digit, five digit, even 10 digit number by 16. Now, so many of you must be thinking 16 time ta times table. Yeah, that's what is used in the trick, right? Not at all. If I know the tables up to nine, I think that's it I require. I don't require. I have never learned tables of 14, 15, 17, 18, 19 in my life because I never felt the need. And yes, it will happen. I mean, all the maximum, uh, you know, uh, calculations which you do, you know, they will uh, be correct if you are smart with numbers. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. Do, do in this video and you got to watch the entire video. So if you have not clicked the subscribe button, here it is. Click it now and uh, along with that you need to click the bell shaped icon also so that you can keep on getting all the notifications, right? So let's get going and let's study this amazing trick through which you will be able to multiply any number by 16 without having to use the table of 16, okay? So let me, let me take an easy example first. Suppose I have to do 23 times 16. Now, I don't know the table of 16, but I know the table of 6 and that's what I require. So, what will I do? See, I'll start with 3. 3 times 6 is 18. So, I'll write 18 here. Then, uh, because after 3, I don't have a digit here, right? Now, if I do 2 times 6, I have a 12. But, always remember, you if there is a following digit then this digit is to be added to this so 3 and then when you have completed multiplication of all the digits by 6 write the first digit 2 as it is so you get a 2 you get a 15 and you get a 18 and just write a uh, single uh, digit from the unit uh, side I mean ones place so 8 1 carry 15 plus 1 16 6 1 carry 2 plus 1 3 that gives you your Answer for the question 368. Let's see, let's un hope and uh, uh, expect that you have understood like 50% of this. Okay, let's understand the remaining 50%. I'll take one more two digit number. Suppose let's take any random number 67 and I need to multiply that by 16. So 7 6 are 42, right? 6 6 are 36, but add what? the next digit 7. Remember that step. And since I have multiplied everything by 60, uh, 6 here, so the first digit 6 will retain its place here. So 42 as it is. The middle one 36 plus 7 is 43 and then 6. Start writing from the 1's place 2, 4 carried. So 47, 7, 4 carried and 10. So 1072 is the product. So now I am going to skip steps. So I hope you have understood the method now and you are ready for some challenging questions also. I will take a 3 digit number now. Okay. So let's take 148 and multiply that by 16. So start with this 8. 8 6 are 48. 4 6 are 24 but what do I do with 24 add the next digit 8 and 1 6 are 
six, add the next digit four, and finally, because I have multiplied everything by six, the first digit one retains its place. So one, ten, thirty-two, and forty-eight. So eight, four carried, thirty-six means six. Three carried, thirteen means three. One carried, two. Two three six eight is the product of one forty-eight and sixteen. Don't worry, I'm going to take big examples also because I wrote any number. So you must be thinking, sir is doing only one two digit, two digit, three digit, and he'll give us a six digit number as a DIY. Not at all. I'll do it, and then I'll expect you to practice it. And let me know in the comments whether this works or not. Okay. So let's take big numbers now. Suppose I have another three-digit number like six hundred and fifty-nine, and I need to multiply by sixteen. So now I'm going to skip steps. Nine six are fifty-four. Five six are thirty plus nine thirty-nine. Six six are thirty-six plus five forty-one, and finally the six. So four five carrying forty-four. So four four carrying. So this is forty-five, five, four carry. This is ten. One zero five four four is the product. Let's take four-digit number three five three eight times sixteen. Watch eight six are forty-eight. Three six are eighteen plus eight is twenty-six. Five six are thirty plus three is thirty-three. Three six are eighteen plus five is Twenty-three, uh, and finally the three. So eight four carried. This is thirty zero. Three carried. Thirty-six means six. Three carried. Twenty-six means six. Two carried. Five five six six zero eight is the product. See how coolly we are getting the answers, and it works for even bigger numbers. Like if I take six four zero eight seven and multiply that by sixteen, it still works. See. Seven six are forty two. Uh, then eight six are forty eight plus seven fifty five. Don't forget to add the next digit. Okay, zero six are zero plus eight is eight. Four six are twenty four plus zero is twenty four itself. Six six are thirty six plus four forty. And finally the six. Start two four carry fifty nine means nine five carry. Thirteen means three. One carried. Twenty-five means five. Two carried. Forty-two means two. Four carried. And there we go. Ten. One zero two five three nine two is the product of this big number by sixteen. So does it work now? I've taken three-digit, four-digit, five-digit numbers also. Ah, <sighs> try using maybe six-digit, maybe a ten-digit number, and let me know whether it works well or not. and yes you can generalize this trick to multiply any number by 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 just think and let me know in the comments did you understand the logic and could you apply this trick to multiply any number by any number from 11 to 19 okay so take 30 40 questions then practice it then let me know don't do one question and then put the comment okay So all the best for your practice